Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Today we'll be looking at a simple workflow that's going to show you how you can take data that you've already created in RSpace and then send it out for analysis in some sort of external analytical tool and then send the result back to RSpace all using our modern API. In this case, we're going to work with some data that I've already got here in my workspace. And let's imagine that this is temperature data from an, a climatic study of some sort where a lot of data from different sites has all been recorded in a CSV file. You can see here, I already have a particular file that's got the data embedded in it. And I've already shared this file with an entire lab group who are, were helping with me with this study. Now, I'm actually not much of a data analyst myself. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to send what's called a mention to my colleague, Richard Adams, who's my uh, data analyst specialist. And we're gonna ask Richard to do the analysis for me and then send the results back to our space so that I can access them. So I'll save this file now that I've mentioned Richard and Richard will automatically receive a notification telling him that this data file is now available to him. Now what I'll do is I will go ahead and give Richard the, the hosting role and Richard will go ahead and uh, share his screen now so that you can see what Richard will do at his end. Okay, thanks very much, Rob. So what I'm doing now is I'm running um, a Jupyter Notebook uh, in uh, using Python um, in uh, an online Jupyter Notebook called Kaggle.com. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, retrieve the file from our space, which Rob just shared with me, which I, I'll just run here. And um, this downloads the file to this temperature data within the, the notebook environment. And yeah, this this step two, which I'm going to do now, is uh, an analysis of the data, which could be absolutely anything at all, um, really relevant to your area of expertise. In this case, I'm just going to use the pandas uh, Python library to uh, print a, get a summary statistics of this data set, and also to uh, draw a, a plot of of the data, which I'll run now. Um, here we just see a simple plot of. Uh, the min, the maximum, and the median temperature over a range of uh, cities, for example. And that's fine. You know, this is sitting here in my Jupyter notebook, but I would like to make this available to, to Rob and the rest of the team so that they can uh, you know, look at these results and, and inform their next set of experiments. So in this next cell, we're just going to uh, use the Python, use the RSpace API uh, Python library to upload a file into RSpace. So this will just upload the raw um, uh, files that were generated from pandas and, and put those uh, into our space. And that's fine. Those are just the files themselves, but I'd like to write a bit of a report as well saying what it is that I've done. And this is very straightforward as well. I can create a new document in our space through the API. I can use uh, the doc strings in Python to provide a nice HTML template in which I insert the particular IDs that I've, I've just uploaded the, the files from. And I can create a new document um, with this information in that will look nice in uh, HTML in the browser for the uh, for the other scientists on the team. And um, at the end, it prints out a, a link to to the user interface where that document can be viewed. Uh, I won't do this now because I'll, I'll let Rob show that. And the final stage that, that is just to share it um, with a group. At the moment, this document I've created is only available to me. The RSpace API also supports sharing. First of all, I'll just iterate over the, the groups I belong to and choose the group that I want to share with. In this case, it's this temperature climate study group. I don't really want to share it with these other groups. So I'll just put in the ID here. And run the next cell, which makes an API call to share um, with that group with edit permission. You can also share with read only permission as well if you want. And this output just shows the sharing was successful. So at this point, my work is done. The analysis is complete and made available to Rob. So over to you, Rob. All right, great. Thank you, Richard. So I'll reclaim the host uh, role now and I'll go ahead and share my own screen once again. And we'll go back to what I see in RSpace. So now here's my view of RSpace and I can go ahead now and I can check my notifications. And right away, I can see here that I've automatically been sent a notification by my colleague, Richard. I could uh, rummage around in my file hierarchy looking at this document since I already know where this should be. But it's just easier in this case for me to go ahead and click that link that was sent to me in the notification 
telling me that the analysis is ready. And it's going to send me directly to that document, which is actually located in exactly the shared folder that Richard indicated earlier. So now if we scroll down here, we can see that we have uh, a, an output that consists of a couple of Excels containing some data analysis. And I can also see uh, a graph showing me uh, the output of that data analysis that's already been loaded into that document for me. So this has been really nice and painless for me because as someone who doesn't want to do my own data analysis and has a colleague do this for me, it's made it very easy for me to simply send them the data, have them perform the analysis and, and return the results to me whenever they want. If I needed to make any changes to this or if I need to improve this process and if I were a coder, I can actually go to my RSpace and I can go to my profile. And if I know anything about Scientific Code at all, I can look at the API documentation from here to get more information about how to use the API to perform the sorts of analyses that you just did, that we just showed you. Uh, Richard, have anything else that you'd like to add to uh, our demonstration today? Uh, no, thanks, Rob. All right, then um, thank you for joining us today, everyone. If you'd like more information about how to use our space for your data analyses in this manner, do feel free to either use the built-in chat system to reach us by clicking chat with us, or you're welcome to email us at support at researchbase.com.